one of the things we've been thinking about is like, you know, the earth is like a like both like an ear and like a speaker. It like accepts vibrations and it's putting out vibrations. The geophone is a microphone that takes vibrations from the earth, right, that are very potentially very minute and we're able to amplify them. We're taking this information and then we're like examining it and bringing things out of it that aren't necessarily happening the way that our ears filter experience. Think about ways we can listen when there's all this like noise constantly and all of that. I don't like to think of art as something that you just have to be gifted or talented to be able to do, uh, understand it and do it. I will show you how the magic trick works. Um, I basically created a music studio. We used uh, physical media, so we used uh, vinyl records. We also used microphones and we recorded uh, vocals, saxophones, um, all type of, you know, sounds, uh, ambient sound, and then use that to create musical works with. Go through, and what you want to do is you want to go through and just start to listen to the beginning of the song and go through and find some samples. You don't have samples, so go ahead, go ahead, go through, and when you're ready, you just hit record and then sample, so. Is there a part of I'm not going to help you at all. I'm going to watch you guys play like a bitch out of order. The way I feel about you. We seriously overthink our process as artists and go. Well, I gotta have a certain guitar, or I gotta wear this certain jacket, or I gotta be in with my comfort zone. When you take people out of their comfort zone, then they, uh, and they're on the spot, and they go, oh, you know, I, I, I have an idea. My whole thing was to codify the electronic musical arts as, as a scientific discipline. I tried to like go in with the period use plan um, because it's it's always in the lids and go like how I, how I want it to go. With circuit bending, at the very basic level, it's just opening up uh, an electronic device and looking at at all of the the circuitry in there and all the components and having the power to to explore in there, even if you don't you know fully know everything. Well, you, you just kind of poke around with wires or, you know, licking your fingers and touching around on the circuit. You don't know what this is going to do if you touch this point and this point together, but it'll it can just be a, a really beautiful thing. Maybe if you turn it the other way there. Like, yeah. yeah. So I, I brought a lot of, uh, you know, electronics for us to bend and, and some components. So that was a big thing that I, I was wanted people to, to be able to do is to like, you know, explore uh, all that unfamiliar stuff and just, just like play.
what, what you what I, I typically look for is unexpected sounds uh, like the potential that it has kind of um, like opening up that, that potential. I want you guys to think about if you've ever been watching anything, whether it's on screen or on stage, and the music did not fit the vibe. I wanted to show people my process for scoring scripts, but also scoring um, lots of different kinds of things. So events, monologues, how to translate the elements of a story to music. As I'm cooking, as I was cooking, when a thought came to my head about what I was supposed to do next, that's when. And then for the performance, I wanted to score like a sort of unconventional sort of experience. So I, I used the experience of cooking and I, I did a live uh, demonstration of sort of what it's like to be in the kitchen with me while I'm cooking. And I had a playlist that I made to be the soundtrack for that experience. Sort of curating, you know, music and musical experiences, and it's always been something that's important to me. Maybe one of the little superpowers that I feel like I have. I wanted to break all that down to like, you know, something that anyone can walk into a room and understand. You guys want to jam? Come on. <laughs> I like to create a, an immersive environment or space or something, or like explode the possibility of performance so it's not so clear what the what the boundary is between the audience and the and the performance it's like participatory in a certain sense i'm also trying to create an environment to play and like use surrealism 